Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at Project 2000 Update 1. Now Project 2000 is a Windows 10 mod that aims to turn Windows 10 into Windows 2000 visually. I'm really excited to take a look at this. This build was released just about a half a month ago towards the end of September. Um, I believe it was September 24th it was uploaded to archive.org. Um, this is another smaller project that I would like to take a look at and just kind of see what exactly this is and how does it function and is this usable as a day-to-day -day operating system. I really find things like this really interesting. I remember we took a look at, I believe it was Project Luna or Project XP that transformed Windows 10 into Windows XP and I thought that was super cool. So I'm excited to see even going farther back into the 9X, not era, but 9X theme, the Windows Classic theme. Um, I am curious if there's like a Windows 3.1 version of Windows 10, that would be really cool. But let's go and install this. So far it looks like your traditional Windows 10 installer, but just wait until we get into the fully installed, fully fledged desktop, then we'll be able to see some more changes and different things, cool things. Alright, and here we are. So it is now asking us to enter credentials for administrator or hit escape. So do we make a test? Really, can we make an account? No. Okay, that's cool. So, hit escape. Never mind. I guess that let us in. Uh, okay. And wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. First thing, I want to install VMware tools. And then... Wow. Sorry, I'm... Okay. Let's get VMware tools installed. The thing that just ruins it for me is the fact that with this notification came up, but we can disclose that. Um, let's get VMware tools in here so we can get a full screen um, OS. But just, I am shocked. I am so shocked. I'm curious to know how much time and effort went into this. Okay, so first of all, let's close this. And let's see if we can change the I want to change the display so I can make it a little, you know, better. But I actually don't know where that would be. Is it here? The current default VGA. I don't know what that is. Can I just stretch this to make it fit? There we go. So this is Windows 2000. Or actually, it's Windows 10. Um, so. Let's take a look around. My documents is here. Um, wow. As we can see, we have the Windows 2000 theme, the gradient at the top, the logo, and all of the classic icons. I mean, I'm really not even sure that this is Windows 10, to be completely honest with you. Going to my computer, we can see, oh, there we go. That opens Windows 10 right there. We found something that wasn't customized. Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 21H2 installed on August 17th, 2022. Opening my computer though, we can see there we go. Um, control panel, um, it's all here, local disk C. Um, and we can go into here and browse. Um, moving on, my network places, I would assume it just opens the network portion of Explorer. I might be wrong, or it's just not going to load at all. It looks like it is just not going to, there we go. So we can see add network place, find computers near me, as well as view the entire network. Um, recycle bin, you know, your typical recycle bin. Internet Explorer, which I would assume is Microsoft Edge. Actually, I don't know what this is. No, this is, okay, this is Waterfox browser. I've never heard of this. Um, but it does look to be modern or okay Microsoft Edge just isn't installed so it does look to be supportive of you know modern day web pages like if I were to go to youtube.com it should let us yep there we go we're loading a full modern YouTube and it's not giving us a warning so that is pretty cool um, then we have the connect to the internet wizard which I would assume yeah this is fake because it's yeah it's modem we then have the README up here. Welcome to Project 2000. Um, tells you a little bit about the bugs. There's the Discord server. Um, a little bit more information here. 
And then we have change your Windows edition. And this is a visual change that will allow you to change from, you know, server, professional, advanced server to personal. Um, we're not going to change it because I believe that we're on professional, if I am right. Yep, Windows 2000, or actually it doesn't say. I would like to see what server does look like, but that'll be another day. Opening Windows Update, it takes us to just the internet again. Um, I don't think that it actually does Windows Update. Although there is a Windows Update icon down here that does nothing. Okay. Then we have under Programs, we have all of your typical applications, including, let's see, is this Windows 2000? Windows 2000 Classic Games. I don't know how to play cards, but wow. Um, here we go. Let's go back. Communications, even hyper terminal, phone dialer is on here. Um, although there was an error, but I'm not reading it because we don't plan to use that. Um, entertainment, window, even the old Windows Media Player. Like, is this the real Windows? It is. Wow. Wow. Okay. Communications, we entertainment, system tools. I am curious to know if this is the real getting started uh, interface or if it's like a reskinned, remade one. Uh, address book, we have synchronize. Uh, Windows Explorer, um, run as administrator, does that actually do anything? Okay, we have the classical calculator, which is very cool. Let's see. Imaging, classic notepad, um, going back into the start menu. Uh, command prompt, which does say, they even customized this to say Windows 2000. So that is, wow. Wow, I am I'm impressed. Uh, paint, WordPad, uh, I would assume, yep, classical paint. These have to be like the actual Windows 2000 apps, but I don't know how you would even get this running in Windows 10. Documents, we can see the things that they use to customize this. So like if I open that, okay, it's not there anymore. Uh, settings, you have control panel modern and control panel. So this control panel is like an emulation of the legacy control panel. Um, and then the other control panel is, you know, the modern one that you would see today. Um, not opening the settings app, but just like the classical level of, you know, here we can see this Windows 7 settings, change it to category. This looks like what we know and love today. Back in settings, network and dial up printers, uh, taskbar and start menu, which opens the uh, PowerShell or open shell menu rather. Um, not like your typical stuff and you can kind of come in here and change stuff around and do whatever you feel like there going into the search we can search the internet for files on the internet or for people the help dialogue is the real Windows 2000 help Wow um, and then of course your typical run dialogue we then have log off administrator which takes us to uh, okay so there is no like login screen it is just your typical, it, it's not typical, it's just like a command prompt window. There is no login screen yet, but I can't wait until that would eventually be added. Is there like, if we press Windows L, Windows L just locks the system and takes you back to that sort of weird screen. Um, I think you're capturing this audio. That is classical volume right there. But uh, yeah, this is Project 2000, and I must say, I'm impressed, because this, I know that this is not easy to do. This is honestly incredible, the fact that they were able to make it look this close, and have all of the themes like this applied. Now my question is, if I get back into the settings app, I go home, Go to Windows Update. Is this going to actually work? Are we going to be able to find updates? Because I have no doubt that updates are going to absolutely destroy the theme that we have here. But can it at least find them? Oh my, it did find, it found them. It's downloading the latest updates. This is insane. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe from here on here as I do all kinds of different technology videos including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.